didn't even have to think. His bag is so sharp, though. It is. James Chen would have delivered that, like, he's got a sharp Vega. <laughs> he would have had a little, like, a bob. <laughs> This is tough, man. Vega not with the strongest defensive options. You know, I think this is actually okay for Vega. If he gets knocked down, he loses, but that's set against everybody. Uh -huh. So it's not that big a deal. The bigger thing is that for Vega, usually it's an issue that he can't deal that much damage at a time. Uh -huh. But against Seth, that doesn't matter because yeah. Seth has zero life. That so makes sense. It's, a, it's kind of an interesting interplay. It's not necessarily how you think it would go. Slide to avoid the dive kick. That's a move by Chris, but knowledge of the matchup. Good nice block, D, yeah. yes. He's looking for that wall jump, and Punko is already eyeballing it, trying to keep him off the wall, but nice find there. See, that's good damage that right hurts. there. Yeah. yeah, that makes it look like the uh, the unnerfed version of that move when it used to just do a grip of damage. Chris just playing away. We've seen the style. Just wants to play uh, the defensive game, counter poke game. Absolutely not the game that Punko wants to play. I like that Scarlet Terror right there. Just toss it out there early, try it out, and let Funko think twice about these attacks. Surprise! Funko's got four meters. Guess what's gonna happen? You know, that's a little, I was gonna say that's a little risky on Vega exactly for that. And Chris King brought it out right after. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> had he gotten him into the corner, that would have been huge. Would have been surprise DP time with nowhere to go. But keeping it mid screen is great for Chris. Oh, still clipped! <laughs> Got him! Oh! In the air. Can he close it out? Not quite. Punko's still alive. Backdashes, backdashes again to be safe. And Chris King again, just staying away, staying away. He backdashed the second hit? Amazing! That's not supposed to work like oh, that! It whiffed! Oh, there's nowhere to go now. Now he's done. Yeah. That's not the reason to do Stan Ranos there is to beat focus. the focus. Yes. Boy, yes. it didn't work. Yes. Just an interesting uh, transitioning of hitboxes there. Seth got pretty low. Moved pretty fast. That's two hits. Not going to focus that one. Now Chris in control. That's a good trade for him. No punish at all. That needed to be... Anything better than that. Chris King with a big miss. He overthought the punish. He overthought it. Just hit him. Stand fierce. I don't know why he didn't do stand fierce, stand but fierce. at least he got something that time. Nice anti-air uh, placing right there. The wake up crowd strong. Yeah. He did that. And it hit him. Counter hit. Oh, the slide under again! So slippery, Chris King! He's playing loose, but he's got enough, enough life to do it. No, oh, that's gonna be it! That's it. Chris King takes the first game, only one game, not over yet, but Punko on the ropes. Remember, we're in loser's bracket. Look at the smile on Chris's face. That's, that's the face of somebody who wants to smile and rip on his opponent, but he's <laughs> trying to keep calm. That, you know, Fuga lost that last round because of a combo draft, but the rest of the game, I, I think it was fine for Chris King. He, even if he had not dropped that combo, Chris is still in a good position. Yeah. Oh, and he's moving off the wall very nicely, staying out of DP range, but that was a nice find from Puko anyway. Excellent counter hit normals, or counter place normals, I should say, from Chris King. Oh, wow, actually got him with the shenanigan? Gave him the shenanigan. He did. And now here's a bad place for Chris. EX something, whatever it was, did not pay off. Not quite dead yet, but yeah, that's that. So Puko with a nice recovery in that round, he got what he wanted to. Get in, make it happen. Smart option. Oh, and again! Reads, he's just reading and they're going. Punko doesn't like getting red. If you're reading him, it's tough for him to win. That's his whole game. Oh, I think he was going for a delayed grab and Chris challenged it with the button. Got, got himself out. There it is again. Really sparing use of the Scarlet Terror. I really like that block. That yeah. was so smart. Yeah, that was huge. That's it. It's very common. Vega tactic right at the end of rounds. Oh, that was huge, though. He's got to get the stun. Stun close. 
great tech from Chris, but he's not out of harm's way just yet. Little tippy tip of, I think, jump back jab. Yeah. So Chris King is at match point here, almost eliminating Kunko, former Evo top eight. This could certainly happen. Again, the slide under. I love those reactions by Chris. Puko's just having such a hard time applying the mix-up. Like you said, he stands so slippery. He stands so loose. Wanted EX wall dive. Didn't come. Oh, finally going to the jump strong. Noticing that Chris King is going to the air to air. Nice. Ooh, Chris getting a little crazy maybe. Can he recover here? Maybe not. Puko now in. It's plenty of meters. Oh! oh right. That was a really nice uh, mix-up. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, props to him. That was that was really solid. So he's gonna close this game in that fashion, and we're gonna go down to the final one for both these guys. On the mainstream right now, Mad Cats Tokido, Mad Cats Daigo. That is a marquee matchup if ever there were. That's right. Uh, they're like inventing normals to trade with each other in the air at this point. Scarlet Terror is not a good reversal move. You really have to have a read on what your opponent's coming in with, and he's getting it. Funko missed the mark and put himself in the corner. Nice read. Yeah. Got the anti-air tandem that was and turns it into the good damage. Now the corner, maybe? We'll see what he gets. Yes. Almost there. Oh, yeah. That's going to be it. Right the meter. on the button. And Chris King, who was at his own match point, is now at Pumko's match point. This is, it, it looked a lot like this versus me, say. It was close, but then the last round was absolutely all Pumko. He That's got right. started and he didn't stop. But Chris King, first one to get a significant hit here. And goes back to the, the spacing game. Hey, he's already winning. Pumko has to do something now. Nope. Oh, that drop is crucial. Didn't have charge, couldn't get anything other than that crush yeah. strong. Yeah. Oh, Chris King, his timing on that has been perfect. What? Stamp Fierce! Oh, what? Stamp another Fierce! One. This is crazy! And Punko gets the grab, still in the corner, almost dead. This might be stun, actually. That was so well played. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So Chris King had a great set for the most part, but Punko makes the comeback. And the thumbs up from yeah. Punko.